We have a simple interest problem with accumulated value, and it says to find the simple interest rate on a principal of 8,000, which was invested for 15 years, and then had a value of 12,500. So we can use either one of these two formulas over here. They're both the same. Um, the one on the left is has that p factored out i like to use the one on the right and all it really is is if you factor if you distribute the p out you will get the one on the right so i'm going to put a little star next to this one this is the one that i like and that's what we'll use here so let's list the things that we know a is the accumulated value okay that's the value at the end of the term and in this case how much do you have after your term we have twelve thousand five hundred uh, P is the principal, okay, when you think of principal, think of your pal that you've been with for a long time. So the principal is what you started with, which is your $8,000. They also give us the time invested, which is 15. And the rate is what we're looking for. So our rate is unknown, I'll just put a question mark. Okay, so let's take our formula and let's bring it down. Let's grab this formula that I like and we'll put it right here. Okay, and all we need to do now is to plug in and solve. So A equals, A is 12,500. P, which is your 8,000 plus PRT, so that is 8,000, that's the P, times R, which we don't know, and I'm just going to leave that as the letter R, times T, which is 15. And now we're going to, next step, let's see. We can either put these two numbers together, that 8,000 times 15, or we can move this 8,000 over to this side. Either one's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put these two together. Let's do 8,000 times 15. Get my calculator. 8,000 times 15 gives me 120,000. Okay, so we have 12,500 equals 8,000 plus 120,000 times r. And now we're really just solving this linear equation. We want to know what this r is. We want to get the grumpy old r by itself. Next step would be to subtract 8,000 from both sides. On the right hand side, 8,000 minus 8,000 is gone. On the left hand side, 12,500 minus 8,000 is 4500, zero, zero, which is your interest, by the way. If you started with 8,000, you end up at 12,500. Your interest is 4,500. 4500 zero, zero equals 120,000 times R. One more step to get this grumpy R by itself, and that is to divide both sides by 120,000. The right side divided by 120,000. The left side divided by 120,000. Use a little internet magic to move this up. And now I'm going to get on the right hand side, 120,000 divided by 120,000 is gone. It's just a 1, 1 R. And on the left hand side, I have 4500 zero, zero, divided by 120,000. Zero, 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 zero. And that gives me a very nice number 0 0.0375. Okay, so that's what my rate is. Uh, that is decimal form, which is what you use to multiply. But they're going to want it as a percentage. So remember to get a percent. We move the decimal over two places. And my rate is going to be 3.75%. Let me fix.
fix that five, make that look better. Come here, five. 3.75%.